Alright, <laughs> hey okay, guys, this is that's nice. This is Rob Shoecraft with Three Storm Fitness. Uh, today I'm gonna go over how to set up your power rack for bench pressing. Um, I realize this is sort of like a maybe like a fundamental video, but that's kind of my point here. I got a lot of people, well, I have a few people now working out in my gym when I'm not here. And I'm, I'm a personal trainer. Normally I'm in here showing people what to do, making sure they don't get hurt and everything. But I got people coming in on like Saturdays and stuff now. And I just want to make this video for anybody. And if you don't come to my gym, you know, you can still kind of use these principles. Uh, just how to set up for a, a nice, safe, and effective bench pressing session. Okay, so this right here behind me is a rogue that I'm sitting on uncomfortably is a Rogue R4 power rack. It's basically a standard power rack design. What this has here is a pin, a pin pipe safety bars. I'll talk about those in a second. If your power rack doesn't have these, or maybe you have like the, you know, the, uh, the blocks, the arms that kind of come out with like J hooks and uh, snap in, or maybe you have uh, straps, or you have, um, Big spotter arms that's coming off of like a like a half rack or a squat rack. Uh, all these all this basically still applies. Um, so let's talk about let's talk about where I have the bench. First of all, let me show you what a bench press is. That okay. So the bench I have it set up so that. This is gonna be, a lot of this is kind of personal, you know, it's gonna vary based on your body. But I have it set up so that I can keep my eyes underneath the bar on the setup. The eyes underneath the bar when it's in the furthest position, oh, these are called J hooks here. The furthest position on the J hooks, in other words, where I'm going to lift it out. Um, if you have a spotter, that's ideal. Uh, it's still not a bad idea to put these things in place, even with a spotter. Especially if it's a weak spotter or a person doesn't know how to spot, there is a little bit of a science to it. Um, anyways, if, if you have a spotter, it's great, you can have them lift it out. But if you're lifting alone, absolutely need these set up. And um, even if you're not lifting with like maximum weight, it's still a good idea. Your shoulder does freaky things sometimes. You could be warming up and all of a sudden, I got a buddy who, who I don't rescue him, he was just warming up and his shoulder did something funky and he kind of lost it. And it's, yeah, it's just scary. Don't, don't screw around with it. Anyways, I'll get off of that soapbox. So, you want it in a place in the J-Hooks where it'll, the bar will roll out. You don't want to set it up in the, in the furthest back position here because, well, it's just going to, it's going to vary about two inches. And all the inches matter in this, okay? So, you want a place where it's the bar you want the bench set up in the center. I have like a little line running down the middle of my power rack, so it's kind of easy to tell where the center is. Plus, I, you know, just use your eyeballs. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, where you can have the bar, your eyes underneath the bar, and you can still have your feet planted behind it. Now, there's a lot of different variations of how you should have your feet planted. Whatever uh, school of thought you subscribe to, your feet need to be on the ground. You know, none of this crap unless you're doing some sort of special exercise. Um, and I can say special there. I'm just kidding. There's, 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 I, I don't crap on any exercise. They're all, they all have a place somewhere. But anyways, um, you want your feet to be on the, be on the ground. You want your butt on the, nice and firm, on the bench. And you want to you know, have your eyes, your eyes under the bar. So wherever you can keep your eyes on the bar and your feet on the floor, that's where you want your bench. Um... As far as the height, this is kind of a big one, the height of the, uh, of the hooks here. You know, I have, these are west side holes, so I can drop down at this point. I can go inch spacing. Up above this is two inch spacing. So you can really fine tune it. Um, you want to have it in a place where, again, when you lift off from the furthest point of the J hooks, you are, you can get tight the setup. In a bench press is extremely important. Setup is everything. You want to be able to get tight, get your shoulders tight, bend the bar, get your glutes on, get your feet planted uh, in a nice position. So you want to be able to set up, and you want the bar to be at a height where you only have to lift it maybe an inch, maybe two inches max, so that you don't lose your position. So you lift it out, 
This is kind of turned into a hollow bench press video. That's all right. You lift it out, kind of like a, just a little baby pullover. Like you're going to do like a, a pullover, lap pullover exercises. Little baby pullover. Nothing, nothing. You don't want to burn too much energy on that first rep. Okay? And then when you put it back, you want to slam it in and drop it. None of this like trying to like fine tune like I got that there and that there. You're going to kill yourself if you do that. This equipment, equipment's made to be hard, uh, made to be, uh, made to get beat up. So beat it up. Down. Okay? Um, so the whole point is, you know, you want the height to be ideal to hold your position while you lift it out. Let me show you what it should look like. You don't want it up too high. By the way, when I find the position I like, I mark it down in the little notebook so that I, I don't have to like screw around with it every time. I can just look it up. Okay, I got my, you know, I got my my uh, J hooks on hole uh, thirty, whatever, thirty one. I just took like a like a wax pencil and marked because the R fours don't come with holes. I don't know why they don't hole marks, hole numbers, but um, for me it's yeah. Anyways, just. Play with it. You don't want it too high up where you know you set up your position, but you gotta like puff your put your shoulders out and do like a serratus push-up to get it out because then you lose your position that defeats the purpose. So you don't want it like that. You also don't want it so low. set up, then you have to burn a rep getting it out of the rack. It just doesn't make sense. So I think I've uh, beat that point to death. But that point is, it is very important to get the height of the bar right. You get a little bit of wiggle room when you have a spotter, but again, why screw around? Why, why not just do it right every time? Okay, as far as the position of the, I've talked about this in another video before, we're going to talk about keeping your back tight, using your bars to kind of dictate whether or not you need more upper back strength when benching um, for good position. But I'll, I'll go over it again, just in case you didn't see that. Um, for the spotter arms, and again, regardless of what kind of spotting you're using, all these principles still apply. What you want to have is... You want to have, so again, this is kind of benching fundamentals, but you want to be, I say, I tell my, my clients, I'm going to be like, on your, if your shoulders had toes, you want to be on your tiptoes. You want to squeeze your scapula together, bend the bar, pull apart, all those cues that create a nice solid foundation to explode off of when you're doing the bench. Um, so that said, you're on your toes, you want to set up the safety bar so that it's high enough when you go down, when you reach the bottom position of your chest, it's high enough where it's not going to interrupt with your, um, with your bench, but at the same time, if you get pinned, you can relax your shoulders and slide out underneath it. Okay? It's a shot to the ego, but at least... You know, at least you're not dead. Um, so in order to do that, you kind of have to play around with it a little bit. And it's going to depend a little bit on how wide you are, um, how much arch I guess you have in, in your in your setup. Uh, also, if you're using like boards or a foam roller or something to do like partials, uh, that's going to make it. That's obviously going to make a difference. You'll have to mess with that again. Write it down so you don't have to do it twice. Um, for me, I use about, I'm about 26 inches up, so I have, just to let you know, I have inches marked on one side, the arbitrary hole numbers marked on the other side. It's because I got a, another power rack or, or a squat rack over there, so I can kind of go back and forth. That one doesn't use the exact same hole spacing, so I, I could say, okay, you know, hole number 11 is 26 inches, so if I need to do 11 over there, I can convert, whatever. And hopefully that makes sense. So that's j the gist of setting up the power. I'm trying to think of any other, anything I, I might have missed. 
Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, cool guys. All right, if you have any questions, if there is something I missed, please chime in in the comments below. If you have questions, let me know. Um, please subscribe to this uh, channel, and please have a great day.